Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to sit down and share this video with you today. This is Operation Use It Up. This is an idea that Summer Michelle here on YouTube came up with and she asked myself and Stephanie, Steph this into Gemini if we wanted to join in. I was all about it. I thought it sounded like such a fun idea. So I am here to share the introduction to Operation Use It Up. I think we're all gonna post our videos at the same time, so make sure you check them out. Thank you to Summer for coming up with this. I will leave their videos in the, um, in the description box below once we all post at the same time. Basically, the idea of this is to take the month of August and focus on a particular vendor. It feels like every day we're texting each other <laughs> saying, I have so much wax, I have so much wax, no, I have so much wax, I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed. So Summer thought it would be fun to take a vendor that we don't have as much stuff in, so not one of our like biggest collections, but one of our, you know, smaller, medium-sized collections, and take a month and really try to get through some stuff. I love that idea. We decided on Brita's, which honestly for me is perfect for a couple of reasons. One, there's been a lot of melting challenges lately and Brita hasn't had anything. So this is a way to kind of show Brita's some love. She's got fantastic wax, so I love that. Also my Brita's collection, I have quite a variety. I have it in front of me right here is why I'm looking kind of down. I've got spring, summer, I've got fall, winter, I have just general bakery. So I have a wide array of a lot of different types of scents and choices, which is great. Also, I have purchased a lot of Brita's this year. I did like the December 2023 pre-order and I've done a couple of other pre-orders in 2024 and I haven't melted anything from Brita's in so long. It's been a long time. So this is perfect to melt some of the items that I'm just not reaching for, for whatever reason, really get through some British stuff and just minimize my collection a little bit. So the idea is that we're gonna take the month of August to get through what we can get through. We're all gonna melt different things here and there as well. So bring in other vendors or Scentsy, et cetera, but the main focus is going to be on Brita's. And then we're going to save all of our empties. And at the end of August, we will share with you our reviews. So hopefully there'll be quite a bit of, you know, large amounts of Brita's reviews coming at the end of August, which I think would be really, really fun and just a good way to use up some of our stuff in a good way to highlight this vendor. So I pulled out all of my Brita's and I actually had a lot more than I was anticipating. I counted and I think I have 47 items, which isn't too crazy. It's definitely more of a medium sized collection for some of the vendors that I have, but I was expecting me to have a lot less. So it has accumulated. I have it in a couple of different drawers right here. So maybe it just looked like it was less than it really was because it was split up between those, those drawers but I have 47 items. So since I have 47 items, I decided my goal was to get through 31. So essentially one a day, which I think I can do because I have some items that you know are smaller shapes. I have some items that are souffles, like I can get through a souffle in a day. So 31 items during the course of the month. Rip, say hi, say hi. Um, obviously we would love for you guys to join if this is interesting to you if you don't have a lot of Brita's and want to pick a different vendor if you want to participate but don't want to do a full month whatever works for you please feel free to to hop in and join us on this melting challenge I know we would all love to have you so the start of this video I'm gonna show you my collection now I'm gonna be really quick about it and just kind of not gonna smell everything um, just a quick clip of here are all the items that I'm starting with. Do I have any just quick thoughts on if I'm going to try to melt it or not? Because there are some scents in here that are definitely very, very Halloween and very winter and I am a seasonal melter. So I want to pick out, really I want to focus on the summery ones. I want to melt the summery ones and then I want to melt the generic bakery ones and avoid the super heavy fall 
and the super heavy winter. So as I go through this, I'm going to kind of sort piles here. The ones that I don't want to melt and I want to kind of save for a later date and the ones that I want to focus on for this melting challenge. I have a lot of beach nights. I got her beach night sampler, plenty of summertime scents. So I think that I can really easily get 31. At least that is, that is my hope. Let's start with this guy because I have two of them. I have two souffles in the fog and the fog is beach nights and autumn day. One of them is from February and one of them is from May. So I'm gonna put the February one in my melt it pile and then the May one we will set aside. The Midnight Society, Christmas wreath, blue sugar, pink sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Because of that Christmassy, I'm gonna avoid that one. Sorry for all the crinkling. Beach Nights, Barnwood, and Butter Brickwall. All of the Beach Nights I'm going to try to work on in August. A couple more Beach Nights. Beach Nights, Fruit Loops and Twinkies. Beach Nights, Mountain Mist and Sea Kelp. Beach Nights, Cotton Candy and Cotton Candy Frosting. Bride of Chucky. This is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Sweet Bakery Dough, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Caramelized Pralines. I actually, I know I have more of this. This one is from November of 2022. It's a basic bakery scent, so I'm definitely going to pull this one to melt, but I know I have at least one more. Is it this one? I think it might be this one. Yeah, another Bride of Chucky. Um, for now, I'll put this in my to melt pile because that's some of my oldest wax. It's from 2022. Beach Nights, Sugar Cookie Royale, Cake Batter Fudge. Yes. Lemon Curd, Garden Mint, and Cucumber. Absolutely. I would love to maybe melt that with, um, with some dirt. Beach Nights, Black Amber, Lavender, and Vanilla Musk. See how much just like summery stuff I have? So this was perfect. This was a perfect vendor to start with. Ezra, this is Library, Jelly Donut, and Pretzel. That's kind of neutral season. So yeah, we'll try to reach for that. The Night She Disappeared, Sugared Amber and Plum, Barnwood and Pink Sugar similar. That's kind of any time of year. So I will try for that one. I have two of a quiet place. This is roasted pine cones, pretzel, sweet and creamy, vanilla bean, marshmallow. Hmm. I don't think I want to try to melt these. The roasted pine cone, it's really fall winter to me. So I'm going to put these in my safe for a different, different time period. Double, double toil and trouble. Sugar cookie dough, sweet bakery dough, and cider lane. Cider lane makes it a little too fall for me. So I'm going to hold on that one. I feel like I have a hair that is just stuck to my face or something because my chin just feels like it's tickling. <laughs> <laughs> like something is tickling me. Mad Hatter. This is tea and cakes, Danish butter cookies, and sweet and creamy. Tea and cakes is very summery to me and be perfect for August. So yes. Another Beach Nights one. This is blended with espresso and toasted marshmallow. Werewolf of Fever Swamp. This is Barnwood Winter Nights Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. This one was just poured. I just got this and it was only poured here in June. So I'm going to put that away and make sure that this one is cured enough before I would melt it. So I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, The Exorcist. Do I have more of The Exorcist? Or is this, is this it? 
Oh gosh. The Truly Palo Santo Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I don't think so. I have a I have a lot of stuff here. Not much stuff in my hold pile, so I think I'll put that in my hold pile. Melt it at a different season. I will put in Baba Shook. This one is over a year old and already chopped, so it'd be easy to do. Patchouli, sugar cookie, sweet and creamy, vanilla bean marshmallow. That might be two souffles I put together because that, I don't know, it looks like a lot. Mm, this is good. Yeah, I'll melt Baba Shook in August and save the Exorcist with the Palo Santo for kind of the colder months. Emily, Beach Nights Boom Boom Strawberry Pound Cake. Definitely going to try to melt that one. Poured in May, so hopefully good and cured by August. American Werewolf in London. This is pretzel, green apple, and strawberry. Again, this one, oh, it was poured in May. I thought it was poured in June. See, this one just screams September to me. It's very green apple. It, it pulls fall for me in that way, even though there's the strawberry. So I just don't think I'm going to be ready to melt this in August. It's very much a September scent for me. So I will wait on that one. Hannah Crana, this is Palo Santo Pink Sugar and Roasted Pine Cones. Gonna not melt that because of the pine cones on the Palo. Wicker Man. Do I have more than one of these? I do. Oh, here is the Exorcist. I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm like, I thought I had two of them for sure. Okay, Wicker Man. Beach Nights Pretzel and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. I will pull one of them and put the other one away. So this one is the oldest. So I will melt that guy. Two here that I got in her most recent pre-order. So I want to make sure that these have plenty of cure time. Iroquois Park. Ozark Forest. Rustic Lodge. Smoked Oud. Sugar Cookie Royale. And Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. And then I have Sunburn, which is Flip Flop, Salty Sea Air and marshmallow bomb. So I'm gonna not do those just to make sure they have enough cure time. The Jackal, tobacco and bay, vanilla ice cream and bourbon sauce. Hmm. This could be a maybe. It's very fresh. It doesn't lean too fall winter to me, but the bourbon does lean a little more like cold, cozy day. I might have to count what I've got going on here and see if I need to pull any because I definitely want to have 31 here in my two melt pile. Um, let's see. Warm Bodies. This is Pink Sugar, Blue Sugar, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Vanilla Bee Marshmallow. Definitely can try to finish that in August. Beach Nights Apple Butter Caramel and Toasted Marshmallow. Yes. Two Can't Keep a Secret. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet and Creamy and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Definitely will try for that one. Same with Beach Nights, November Rain, and Petrichor. Okay, a couple here that are definite. I would like to save, but I don't know. My, my save for later pile is getting pretty large, and so I'm wondering if I'm going to have to pull from that pile a little bit. But I've got Sweet Revenge. This is Palo Santo Blue Sugar and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Very fall winter to me. Do I have more of this one? No, I just got the one. Um, another one that I'm just not quite ready for is Halloween Party. This is Pumpkin Crunch Cake Candy Corn Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Fear Street, which is by the Campfire Toasted Marshmallow and Zucchini Pumpkin Bread. This one I could do in August, I bet. But it feels more fall to me. This is hard a little bit with these melting challenges sometimes is because I'm such a seasonal melter. I want to pick things that make sense for August, but still make a lot of progress. And then Kim's special eggnog, roasted pine cones and eggnog. 
gonna melt that during the holiday season. We've got another Baba Shook, so I will melt just the one that I have in there. Casper, pumpkin pecan waffles, apple cider donut, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, and vanilla bean marshmallow. A little too Halloween, I think. Salem got baked. Pumpkin zucchini bread, pie crust, and apple cider donut. Um, this one I think I can melt in August. Come, we fly. This is toasted marshmallow, palo santo, and pretzel. Night stalker, patchouli, blue sugar, and sugar cookie. Pulls pretty winter to me, but maybe if I, if I need something else. Grandpa's house. This is tobacco and bay, barbershop 1920s, and caramelized pralines. This one... I think I will go for this in August. That barber shop really gives it a freshness. And this is a year and a half old and already chopped up. So I might as well try to use that. And then lastly, I have a loaf of the Betrayal, which is by the campfire, fire roasted marshmallow and marshmallow bomb. I'll probably put this in the pile to work on, but I don't know if I want to finish this. I love this scent so much, but I'm definitely going to put it into the pile to at least melt some of it and make a little bit of progress on this loaf. Okay, I'm going to go through my to melt pile and see what the number is. Okay, that's only 24. I said my goal is 31, but that's okay. I think I can pull a second Babashook. I can pull the Exorcist maybe and some of these other ones if I don't. If I, if I finish all of those 24 and try to, and need to get some more, I can pick from the other ones. Maybe that thought process makes sense and maybe, maybe it doesn't. But that is my entire British collection and kind of curating what I would like to focus on during this Operation Use It Up month of August. I'm really excited to not only melt this and really highlight Brita's and kind of get my British collection down a little bit, but to do this with Summer and Stephanie. I really hope if you guys have any interest that you join in, like I said, even if it's for a week, if there is a different vendor that you wanna do because Brita's doesn't work for you or if you don't have a lot of it, whatever you guys would love to do, we would love to have you join us. So I will be back at the end of August with all of the empties of the items that I have finished and do warm reviews of a bunch of Brita's stuff. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.